Hello everyone, welcome to the video. So a few weeks ago, I put a poll out on my community tab and I asked you all, hey, I'm wanting to write an orchestral track in the style of, and I gave a few options. And one of the options that I typed in myself was Star Wars. Star Wars, one of the most successful film franchises and I think most people know that it has one of the most well-renowned successful soundtracks. So why did I think that me, with only about one year of composing experience, could achieve the level of John Williams, who's like up here, and I'm like, yes, yeah, so there's a little bit of a gap, but you know, don't you worry, I persevered and I um, I did. I completed a track, linked down below if you haven't listened to it, and I thought I would make this video kind of talking about when you set yourself a goal that is a little bit out of your comfort zone and some things I learned that maybe you can apply it to your life and also some of the musical things I did to try and make it sound Star wars and all that jazz. So, so about a week ago I was feeling a bit hesitant to want to share my track. I was feeling nervous and scared and just was really aware that I'm not going to be able to reach the feet of John Williams. Not because I'm putting myself down, it's just you know, it's fact, like he has like 40 to 50 years of experience and I'm like, not so much. So I was a little bit worried, but then I was thinking, hey, I want this channel to be a place where I can show my journey of learning and growing in order to help others feel like it's okay to learn and grow and to not know things. Um, even if you feel like it's too late for you to learn something, I want it to be a place where it's like, you know what? You gotta start somewhere and you may as well start where I'm starting at the beginning, so it's okay. So I did end up sharing it and um, now I'm gonna share my little journey of it. So just a quick rundown about me, I write songs in the pop rock alt kind of genre, I also sing and last year amongst what was happening in the world I started learning composing because I love orchestral tracks or like film tracks and video games and I thought well why not, why not give it a go. So I have about a year's worth of composing experience just so you're aware. So the results were overwhelmingly in support of Star Wars and I was like okay cool I I can do it. I was feeling confident and then I sat down and I was like, Star Wars, how do I write a Star Wars track? So the thing I learned is when you set yourself a goal that is quite outside of your comfort zone, it can be quite easy to get overwhelmed and to just not want to do it and to procrastinate. I definitely procrastinated once I saw that the Star Wars was the, the winner. Um, and the way to, I guess, get about this is to just take it in little steps, take little actions, and that will help break down this massive goal into small manageable pieces. So the way I did this for the Star Wars track, I for about a week all I did was listen to Star Wars um, through Spotify and the big difference I noticed from like um, original Star Wars tracks to modern day tracks was definitely the percussion. Percussion is far more um, in the tracks than it is in the older ones and I made the decision that I think I want to stick to like OG Star Wars and not use percussive elements really at all. I did use a glockenspiel but I didn't use you know toms or timpanis or anything like that. So once I do that I was like okay all right let's write a Star Wars track because I know what a Star Wars track sounds like so obviously if I just sit down and write a Star Wars track I'll be able to do it and then I sat down and I was like Wars. <laughs> it was so hard. So then I was like, okay, Caroline, you need to delve into this a little bit more. So I, I watched a few videos on YouTube and that was quite helpful. And then um, what I noticed in more when I was listening to the tracks that a lot of the dark side themes and tracks, um, a lot of them used staccato notes as articulations. Like when you think of the Imperial March, like dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. You know, it's very like staccato and sharp and a lot of battles were very staccato-y as well and then when you would think of like the Jedi and the Force theme or the romantic theme, it was all very like legato strings. 
So I just kind of made a mental note of like, okay, dark side, staccato, light side, legato. Um, that's just how I kind of broke it down in my head. I don't know if that's accurate to do so, but it helped me. So basically then I just sat down and started writing and I wanted to incorporate some light motifs, which is basically a musical phrase that is representative of like a character, a place, a theme or something like that. So I wanted to do that so when people were listening to my track, they could kind of, their brain would do the work for me and be like, oh, it kind of sounds Star Wars-y. But I did it in very subtle ways, I think, so because I, I haven't seen anyone comment the light motifs I used. So in this section, um, bum, 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 bum. <laughs> that section so that if you actually speed that melody up that is like the uh basically the foundations of the song Jill the Fate da, 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 da. So I, so I was kind of proud. I was like, oh, that's cool. So I just kind of took it and slowed it down. I also, um, the very beginning, the cello spiccatos, uh, they start in F and um, then the double uh, bass and another cello do a legato. I'll just play it. <laughs> So they play the C sharp and basically those are kind of the notes used in the Darth Vader theme like <laughs> And in my head I was like okay that's gonna be a really subtle way for just to like make a sound kind of dark at the beginning So that I don't know if anyone picked up on that because it's incredibly subtle but that's what I did And there's also another French horn piece which kind of uses very similar notes to the Force theme um, I'll play it here And the fourth theme is da 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 da. So it's kind of similar. Anyways, I just thought maybe if you any Star Wars geek music fans out there, you might appreciate that. So another thing I learned doing this that if you set a goal outside of your comfort zone or even just in your comfort zone, is a big possibility that the result is not, or even the process of achieving that goal, is not going to be how you expected it at all. My initial intention for writing for this track was for the character of Anakin because I think Anakin slash Darth Vader has the most interesting story arc to me and in defense of Hayden Christensen he was meant to be a moody troubled Jedi and I think he played a moody troubled Jedi he just had not very well written dialogue but I think he actually portrayed the character well and what did the Jedi think was going to happen when they take a little boy don't save his mum and like oh suppress your anger suppress your set no anger will lead to the dark side what did they think was going to happen? <laughs> I'm having fun here, but um, I'm, hopefully that won't annoy anyone. But you know what I mean? I kind of find it funny now looking back as an adult. Like, what did you think was going to happen? You're telling him not to feel his feelings. Like, come on. <laughs> anyway, so I wanted to do a track for Anakin. And I thought, like, I was going to make the suspense of Anakin turning into Darth Vader. But then when I started orchestrating it, I was like, mmm, doesn't really give off that vibe. And the more I was orchestrating it, I was like, oh, the staccato woodwinds and the brass sound very like the dark side, the strings sound more light side, and it's kind of almost like a little battle between the two. And I imagined it like the goodies, the rebels, I should say, are in this spaceship and they're trying to escape out very subtly and then they do and then we have this triumphant section quite at the end of the piece. And also just to go with that, it's probably not going to work out how you want it to, I am not John Williams. Never will be. Never will be close to John Williams. I'm me. I'm Caroline. And even though I was trying to write um, a track inspired by John Williams so I could learn like the tiniest fraction of what he does. Like I, I know I only covered the surface of what I analysed. But you know, I'm me. And um, even if I'm writing something that I want to sound inspired by something else, I still need to do what I think is true to me. And um, I, I'm really actually happy with how it turned out. I no, it's nowhere near the level of like John Williams, but it doesn't need to be, you know, it's, it's the best that I can do and that's okay. So if you've set yourself a goal, whether it be to like run a 10K or do a painting, just let it be, let it, the art itself exist and that be okay. I guess don't compare yourself to what you think it should be because that's like a disservice to what you have created. Just let it be, let it exist, take the lessons from that process and then go into the next thing you know another thing which i've learned a million times before but i think it's just a good thing to reinforce is to focus on the process your actions instead of the outcome 
you have zero zero control of the outcome all of your control that you have is in the action and in the work so um, I was like oh I want people to like it I want people to think it's like Star Warsy but that thought process is taking energy away from focusing on actually doing it so once you just let go and be like yeah it's probably not gonna sound so Star Warsy to some people or maybe to all people all I can do is all I can do focus on that and that's it then I put it out into the world and people interpret it and to add to this I was really wanting to put this video out first before um, the track because I like wanted to explain myself and I was like Caroline if you need to explain your art, then you know, just let it be. It's not my job on to tell people how to interpret it. I release it and people might like it, they might not, and you know, I did the best that I could and this was really challenging and it was really hard and it kind of drove me even at some points. But I did it and that's the that's my part. I played my part and now it's into the world and it's the world's part to play now. And do you know what I mean? So I think that's also a good thing. Just focus on what you can do, not on the outcome but in saying that many of you have been very very kind and supportive of that track so really thank you I'm really happy with the little community we have going on here uh, it's really nice it's I've never had this before this kind of uh, community online so it's just really nice so thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed it and um, until next time bye <laughs>